What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. We have a brand new movie that just hit Netflix. It's called Super Me. We're going to talk about it, spoiler free, of course, and I need your comments down below. What is your favorite film to come from China over the past few years? This concept is really cool. Stick around. We're going to talk about it. So Sang Yu is exhausted from trying to stay awake. Every time he closes his eyes, a demon chases him and kills him in his dreams. One night, Sang learns how to use his special power where he brings treasures from his dreams into reality. Almost overnight, he becomes a rich man, but his wealth also attracts the attention of a ruthless gangster. And it doesn't feel like an Inception mixed with Code Lyoko style movie at first, because at first we're just trying to get a feel for who these characters and our main character in particular is, but then we realize what's actually happening. So every time he falls asleep, he is encountered by this demonic creature in this Deem world that is constantly killing him and waking him up. And he's being tortured, essentially, to the point to where there's a scene at the beginning and you just feel horrible for him. Thankfully, somebody kind of pulls him down, talks to him a little bit, and attempts to talk some sense into him and says, here's what you have to do to get out of this situation. And he takes that advice, but also realizes that there's more that comes with this power than just being able to get out of this dream when he wants to. He can also take objects and things from that dream into real life. So, he's not just dreaming, folks. This is something a lot deeper than that. What I wanted from this film was to dive deeper into the lore of it all, and we do a little bit, but I wanted to see kind of how this came about and the why uh, of why it is happening. And we don't necessarily get that, but what we do get is this consistent group of montages that happens every five to ten minutes, kind of showing us the character of saying you kind of realizing, okay, I can do more with this than just be tortured for <laughs> forever and not feel like I'm getting any sleep. I can actually make something of myself. So he'll go into his dream, he'll grab an object or try his best to grab something Maybe something bad will happen to him, maybe not, but he'll always come back and then he'll go and sell that item and he becomes a fairly rich man. And with this newfound wealth, he goes after the girl, his life is good, everything's going well for him at least, but then he encounters a, a group of people that says, you know what, we don't like how you're coming across this wealth. And someone comes back into his life that realizes what's happening. So. It's really just this complicated series of events that um, is really not as complicated when we montage our way through it. My biggest issue with this movie is just that, is we kind of montage our way through a lot of these things. And I understand we can't take the time to flesh all of this out. I personally think this idea would work a lot better as a TV series because they squeeze a lot into this movie. And we're talking scenes where we're just kind of going through all of these dreams, going and selling these things. He makes the decisions so quick, or at least it seems that way. But in actuality, because it is a montage, he's not making that decision quick. But what we're forfeiting there is character development. And we don't get all that much. We see him go from point A to point B to point C, but we don't get the in-between as much as I wanted to care more about him as a character. So later on in the movie when he's making some very selfish decisions, I didn't really feel the anger that I needed to feel because we didn't get that build up telling us how good of a person he actually is. He just kind of comes across as someone who is um, doing this for himself, even though at the end of the day, he's not. So uh, very conflicting thoughts when it comes to the execution of this brilliant concept. And I mean, this is one of the coolest concepts I've seen all year, and when he's fighting this demon in his dreams, it looks outstanding. Now, there are some other special effects we often get in sci-fi movies, right? We have the really good special effects, and then we have the mediocre special effects. Well, these aren't just mediocre, these are really bad, but at other times, they were really good. So, again, with that conflict, and uh, it's just a movie that couldn't fully execute on its really, and I mean really, brilliant premise and the way that we fly through everything and it's all happening so fast I was a bit disappointed with the film at the end of the day even though again I see a lot of people having fun with this and I see a lot of people really connecting to this concept because again I thought it was super cool by the way before I give you my score what movie or TV show just dropped on Netflix that you want me to talk about leave your comments down below and to support this channel drop your thumbs up super me features one of the best concepts of the year unfortunately the way it flies through all of it compromises character development, and that's what kind of left me disappointed. So I am going at 50% with my score, uh, but again, 
I would say this is at least worth a watch because of just how cool the idea in general is and some of the editing techniques were um, really intriguing. So let me know, what are you guys watching this weekend on streaming? Is there something you want me to review? All of those things. Appreciate you big time for watching. Come back tomorrow for a live stream on this channel and my wife and I may be watching In the Heights. Don't know when the embargo lifts, but I'll let you know. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.